This video will go through the hazardous waste example. What we have here is the binomial distribution. We want to know the probability that the binomial random variable x equals some value x, where we have n total observations, and we want to know x. What's the probability that we choose two of those values from our n total observations? And so we need to know what the proportion is. We need to know what x is, and we need to know what n is. And so in the hazardous waste example, uh, we're interested in finding the probability that x equals 2. That is, when we inspect two facilities, what's the probability that two of the eight will be issued a violation for hazardous waste? And so we can use our numbers from the formula to, uh, to plug in here. And so we have eight factorial. Remember, we have eight different hazardous waste facilities that we might say visit and inspect in one day. We want to find out the probability that two of them will be issued a violation. So two factorial times eight minus two factorial. And then the probability that each one might be issued a violation is 0.24. And so we square that value and then one minus 0 0.24. And then we raise that value to the n minus x, or 8 minus 2. And so when we do that, uh, we can then uh, plug in these numbers. And so here we get uh, 8 factorial is 40,320. Divide that by 1440. We'll do 2 factorial and then multiply that by 6 factorial. And then we multiply by 0 0.0576, then by 0 0.1927. And so those would be 0 0.24 squared, 0 0.0576, 1 minus 0 0.24 raised to the 8 minus 2 power, 0 0.1927. And so to do that, uh, we can find our answer. Uh, and so the answer then is 0 0.3108. So what this would say is that the uh, probability that if we sampled or we visited eight facilities, the probability that two of them would be issued a violation would be 0 0.3108. And so the second part of the question asks then, what about the probability of two or fewer? And so all we would need to do there, remember the binomial is a discrete random variable. We know what the probability of x is when it's two. We can do the same thing for the probability of x equals one and the probability that x equals zero. And so to do that, all we would need to do was to plug in instead of two in our formula, one and zero and make the calculation two more times. And so then we can say that the probability that x is less than or equal to two equals the probability x is two plus the probability x is one plus the probability that x is zero. And so when you do these, the other ones, it turns out probability that x is zero uh, that will get you 0 0.2812, or probably, that's the probability that x equals 1. The probability x equals 0 is 0 0.1113. And so now we can add those up and find uh, that the probability that x equals 1, 0, or 2 is equal to 0 0.7033. And so that would be our final answer uh, for the, uh, the probability there. And now we did this calculation by hand, but you could also do it in R. Uh, and so I'll just mention in R, uh, try the D binome function, D B I N O M for D binome. That will get you the same answer. Uh, and you'll just plug in your value of X, your value of N, and then your value of P.